What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Tam Ray Mello. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Wednesday, December 28th, 2016, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Carrie Fisher, the actress and writer best known for her iconic role as Star Wars' Princess Leia, died Tuesday morning after suffering a heart attack four days earlier while on board a flight from London to Los Angeles. She was 60. Family spokesperson Simon Halls confirmed the news to The Hollywood Reporter. Halls' statement read, It is with a very deep sadness that Billy Lord confirmed that her beloved mother, Carrie Fisher, passed away at 8.55 this morning. She was loved by the world and she will be missed profoundly. A child of Hollywood royalty, Fisher carved out her own own idiosyncratic career, enjoying her biggest on-screen popularity as Leia in the original Star Wars trilogy before going on to establishing herself as an Assyrabic truth-telling writer with such books as Postcards from the Edge. Her HBO special, Wishful Drinking, in which she recounted her unusual life, was nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Variety, Music, and Comedy Special in 2011. Born to actress Debbie Reynolds and singer Eddie Fisher in 1956, Carrie Fisher grew up in a showbiz fishbowl. Her parents divorced when she was just two after Fisher left Reynolds for actress Elizabeth Taylor in what at the time was a major tabloid scandal. The young Carrie, who grew up in Beverly Hills, first stepped on stage when she was 15 to join her mother in the Broadway musical Irene. She made her film debut four years later in Warren Beatty's Shampoo in 1975, playing a precarious teen who seduces Beatty's sexually adventurous hairstylist. Appearing at cons in May to promote the documentary Bright Lights, starring Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds, which HBO will air in March, Fisher joked, I didn't want to be in show business, and I think I did a very good job of that. Nevertheless, she left her mark on the big screen. Star Wars, which was released in 1977 when she led the rebellion as Princess Leia, was only her second film and first starring role. She will later reprise the part in two sequels that rolled out in 1980 and 1983 and she returned to the character in a now more mature incarnation in 2015's Star Wars The Force Awakens. Fisher, who is thanked in the end credits of the new Star Wars spin-off movie Rogue One, was scheduled to appear in the next Star Wars movie Episode 8, scheduled for release in December 15, 2018. Fisher often spoke with Amblivious about Leia, telling Rolling Stone in 1983, she has no friends, no family, her planet was blown up in seconds along with her hairdresser, so all she has is a cause. From the first film, she was just a soldier, front line and center. The only way they needed to make the character strong was to make her angry. However, in the wake of the success of The Force Awakens, Fisher appears to have made peace with her on-screen alter ego, attributing the success of the franchise to the fact that Quote, this movie's about family. Star Wars is. That's why it has the appeal. She received another Emmy nomination for her 2007 appearance on HBO's Dirty Rock, in which she played a crazy writer, spoofing her Star Wars dialogue with that episode's last line, Help me, Liz Lemon. You're my only hope. While some fans criticized how the older Leia looked, Fisher took to Twitter. She admitted that some of the negative comments had hurt her. But she wrote, unfortunately, it hurts all three of my feelings. But she also fought back, adding, youth and beauty are not accomplishments. They're the temporary happy byproducts of time and DNA. Don't hold your breath for either. But while Fisher will always be associated with Leia and the prince's famous hair buns, Fisher, who also appeared in such films as Hannah and Her Sisters in 1986, When Harry Met Sally in 1987, and Soap Dish in 1991, drifted away from acting full-time and found a new identity as an author, screenwriter, and all-around Hollywood wit. Frankly, addressing her own problems with substance abuse and bipolar, she penned the 1987 hit novel Postcards from the Edge, an only slightly fictionized version of her own life as a sometimes depressed actress and the daughter of a major and occasionally intimidating Hollywood star. She went on to write the book's screen adaptation for the 1990 film version directed by Mike Nichols and starring Meryl Streep and Shirley MacLaine. While serving as a script doctor on such films as Sister Act, Lax Action Hero, and The Wedding Signal, 
singer and penning the 2001 TV movie These Old Broads, in which Reynolds and Elizabeth Taylor appear together. Fisher wrote several more novels as well as the memoirs Wishful Drinking in 2008, which she later turned into a one-woman play. The 2011 HBO special Shockaholic, and most recently The Princess Diaries. Wherever she appeared on the Hollywood Awards circuits to pay tribute to another star, Fisher could be counted on to offer up a weary observation that provoked laughter. Speaking at the 2004 AFI Life Achievement Award given to Streep, she recalled what it was like to have the Oscar-winning actress play her. Uh, Fisher admitted, after Postcards premiered, I began daily to see the pain and disappointment in the eyes of my family and friends every time I was not Merrill. There's a name for this condition, as it turns out, Merrill-Noma Streepidicius. Fisher, whose most constant companion in recent years has been her French bulldog Gary, who accompanied her everywhere, was briefly married to musician Paul Simon in the 1980s, and during the course of her life had a series of romances with high-profile men, including a recently revealed affair with Star Wars co-star Harrison Ford. In addition to her mother, survivors include her daughter, actress Billy Lord, whose father is CAA co-chairman Brian Lord, her brother Todd Fisher, and her half-sisters, actress Jolie Fisher and Trisha Lee Fisher. Fisher went into cardiac arrest at her, as her 11-hour flight was approaching Los Angeles International Airport shortly after noon on Friday. According to several passengers on board, the actress received medical attention from airline staff and passengers who attempted to revive her. Paramedics were standing by for the plane's arrival, and the actress was rushed to UCLA Medical Center. After being treated in an intensive care unit over the weekend, Reynolds had tweeted she was in stable condition on Christmas Day. Fisher was a a beloved sci-fi icon and author and was honored by many in Hollywood, including her friends, co-stars, and industry colleagues on Tuesday. Her mother, actress Debbie Reynolds, posted a statement on Facebook. Thank you to everyone who has embraced the gifts and talents of my beloved and amazing daughter. I am grateful for your thoughts and prayers that are now guiding her to the next step. Love, Carrie's mother. George Lucas, the creator of the Star Wars saga, released a statement saying, Carrie and I have been friends most of our adult lives. She was an extremely smart, a talented actress, writer, and comedian with a very colorful personality that everyone loved. In Star Wars, she was our great power and powerful princess, feisty, wise, and full of hope in a role that was more difficult than most people might think. My heart and prayers are with Billy, Debbie, and all Carrie's fr- family, friends, and fans. She will be dearly missed. Star Wars co-star Harrison Ford said in a statement, Carrie was one of a kind, brilliant, original, funny, and emotionally fearless. She lived her life bravely. My thoughts are with her daughter, Billy, her mother, Debbie, her brother, Todd, and her many friends. We will all miss her. Daisy Ridley, who led the cast of last year's The Force Awakens, released a statement. Davis, devastated at this monumental loss, how lucky we are all to have known her, and how awful that we have to say goodbye. Felicity Jones, the star of the most recent Star Wars film, Rogue One, said in the statement, Such devastating news. I never met Carrie, but consistently heard how profoundly sharp and witty she was. Her maverick spirit will be missed by us all. Disney CEO Bob Iger called Fisher one of a kind, and Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy said, It is difficult to think of a world without her in statements. Iger said Carrie Fisher was one of a kind, a true character who shared her talents and her truth with us all with her trademark wit and everance. Millions fell in love with her as the indomitable Princess Leia. She will always have a special place in the hearts of Star Wars fans as well as all of us who were lucky enough to know her personally. She'll be sorely missed and will join millions of fans and friends around the world who mourn her loss today. Kennedy added, Carrie holds a, such a special place in the hearts of everyone at Lucasfilms. It is difficult to think of a world without her. She was Princess Leia to the world, but a very special friend to all of us. She had an indomitable spirit, incredible wit, and a loving heart. Carrie also defined the female hero of our age over a generation ago. Her groundbreaking role as Princess Leia serves as an inspiration of power and confidence for young girls everywhere. We'll miss her dearly. Director Steven Spielberg wrote, I have always stood in awe of Carrie. Her observations always made me laugh and gasp at the same time. She didn't need the force. She was a force of nature, of loyalty, and of friendship. I will miss her very much. Walt Disney Studios chairman Alan Horst said in a statement, My heart goes out to the members of Carrie's family, friends, and legions of fans. She was an extraordinary woman, highly intelligent, and just plain funny. She will be missed. SAG um, at AFTRA President Gabrielle Cateris says Carrie Fisher was an inspiration to people of all ages. She was a talented, witty, 
thoughtful actor and writer. My heartfelt sympathy goes out to her family, friends, and all those around the world who loved her and will deeply mourn her loss. She was a beautiful spirit and a light that has dimmed too soon. It was a tremendous loss that is felt by all. What a sad way to end the year. Fisher's longtime Star Wars co-star Mark Hamill tweeted, No words, hashtag devastated, along with a photo of the pair in characters Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. A well-known animal lover, Fisher often had her beloved dog Gary with her at public appearances. Peter senior manager Andrew Bernstein said in a statement, We at PETA joined the world in mourning the loss of Star Wars legend Carrie Fisher. She may be best remembered for her iconic role as Princess Leia, but we fondly remember her for her devotion to her dog Gary. Uh, a bash dog defender and PETA supporter. She called Gary her heart and took him everywhere, including to red carpet events. On her Star Wars The Force Awakens press tour and on a recent book signing tour for her memoir The Princess Diaries. She was an outspoken uh, person when it came to helping animals in need. Just this past June, she joined a demonstration outside London's Chinese embassy to call for a ban on the country's annual Yulin Dog Eating Festival, in which thousands of dogs and cats are bludgeoned and even skinned alive before being butchered for meat. These poor dogs need us to fight for them, she said. Every single one of them is as precious as my dear Gary. Every one of them is someone's best friend. Fisher will always be remembered for her phenomenal talent, passion, honesty, love for dogs, and dedication to help others. The actress and writer had been in London for a book tour for her memoir, The Princess Diaries, and was also filming the sitcom Catastrophe. Uh, Catastrophe. Sharon Horgan, who stars on the Amazon series, says Fisher certainly wasn't ready to go in an Instagram post uh, that included a photo of the pair on set. She added, I'm so glad that we became pals. I'm so devastated at her loss. I want to write about her more, but I can't process it yet. William Shatner tweeted, I'm deeply saddened to learn on the death of Carrie Fisher. I will miss our banterings. A wonderful talent and light has been extinguished. Uh, Ryan Johnson, the director, wrote, Carrie was an incredible person. I felt lucky I got to know her and heartbroken. George Sakai wrote, May her soul rest in eternal peace as we return her to the heavens in a galaxy far, far away. Actor Diego Luna wrote, Sad day this 27th. Sad news. Salute for poor Carrie Fisher. Samuel Jackson tweeted, The light in the galaxy is dimmed by the loss of our Princess Leia. May the force be with her. Peter Mayhew wrote, There are no words for this loss. Carrie was the brightest light in every room she entered, I will miss her dearly. Um, Forrest Whitaker wrote, Very sad to see another beautiful light leaving us too soon. RIP hashtag Carrie Fisher. May you continue to be held in God's warm embraces. Kevin Feig wrote, The Force will be with her always. Hashtag R.I.P. Carrie. Al DeGeneres wrote, Ad Carrie Fisher was a brilliant writer, actor, and friend. She was so much fun, I can't believe she's gone. Scott Kelly wrote, Hashtag um, R.I.P. Carrie, a.k.a. Princess Leia. You are an inspiration to many who look to the stars. Madonna wrote, Read this book in case you need to be reminded. God bless you, Carrie Fisher. Oprah Riffrey wrote, Remembering the good times with Carrie and her mother. Hashtag R.I.P. Carrie. Bill Nye, the science guy, tweeted, Carrie Fisher, your role inspired a generation of scientifically curious space explorers. You'll, you change the world and you'll be sorely missed. Marley Ringwald tweeted, Carrie Fisher wasn't afraid to be a smart actress, too often considered an oxymoron. A writing actress pa paved the way for the rest of us. Reese Witherspoon wrote, heartbroken by the loss of Carrie Fisher, brilliant, talented, hysterical, and honest. She'll be deeply missed. Hashtag RIP Carrie Fisher. Mia Farrell wrote, celebrity is just an obscure binding it's time carrie fisher dan Aykroyd, her co-star from the blues brothers wrote our beautiful brilliantly funny wise kind and generous blue sister so ironic christmas was carrie's favorite thing next to babies viola davis wrote we lost an icon gifted actress and tireless mental health advocate r.i.p hashtag carrie fisher dan Harmon wrote i wish i was better at predicting than wishing godspeed carrie fisher she was a champion of honesty makes sense she got out of it uh, Zach Efron posted a photo of Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Ariana Grande wrote, uh, directed to her daughter, Billy Gord. I love you so very much, Billy. My heart is with you and your family today. Steve Martin wrote, when I was a young man, Carrie Fisher, she was the most beautiful creature I ever had seen. She turned out to be witty and bright as well. Rob Lowe posted a picture of Fisher with Mark Hamill. It's Hollywood lore, loss of our youth, loss of a movie crush, wonder at her marvelous literary reinvention and full short life. 
Director and actor Kevin Smith wrote on Instagram, The Princess Stole My Heart at age 7. Anybody who knew me know hashtag Carrie Fisher was my first love. I'm thrilled to the adventures of hashtag Princess Leia in the Star Wars movies, but from 77 to 84, I was in love with Carrie Fisher herself. My bedroom was filled with Carrie Fisher pictures from any movie she was ever in, including Polaroids I took off the TV when the hashtag the, Blue Bro- the Blues Brothers hit cable. I was jealous of Paul Simon when he was dating Carrie Fisher and will listen to his music until they split up. I paid to see Carrie Fisher and hashtag Chevy Chase in Under the Rainbow nine times when it was in theaters, mostly because Carrie Fisher was in underwear in one scene. In childhood, I committed myself to Carrie Fisher without ever meeting her the way no vice nuns commit themselves to Christ without meeting him. Decades later, I got to tell her this when Carrie Fisher and at J. Muse were in a station wagon on the set of hashtag Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back. She was great is about hearing it from the zillionth time from the zillionth man or woman who grew up idolizing her but wickedly added I'm glad to know I help you find your lightsaber and with that she stopped being Carrie Fisher to me and just became Carrie that's the Carrie I'll always remember the dutiful stand, standard bearer of childhood dreams with the wicked sense of humor and a way of words she didn't want to get paid for a role in at Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back instead she asked that we buy her these antique beaver chairs her reason beavers seems an appropriate currency for this film when she was a guest on season one of our at hulu show hashtag spoilers carrie curled up in the throne like she belonged there and she did after all she was royalty as a boy i dreamed of marrying carrie fisher as a young filmmaker i dreamed of casting carrie fisher as an adult i dreamed of being as sharp-witted and pre prepossessed as Carrie Fisher. And now that Carrie Fisher is gone, I'll dream of my friend Carrie, whose entire magnificent career I was lucky enough to witness, who honest, whose honesty made me a better person, and whose spirit, like the force, will be with us always. Good night, sweet prince. Rich Cruz tweeted, um, at Rob Reiner, do you have any special memory with Carrie you'd like to share? Gone too much, uh, much too soon. Uh, Carl Reiner wrote, one unforgettable performance the brilliant Carrie Fisher gave was her one man, uh, one woman show based on her book, Wishful Drinking. I love her and her work. Actor, director, and producer Albert Brooks tweeted, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher, a brilliantly funny, talented woman. We'll miss your humor now more than ever. Anthony Daniels wrote, I thought I had gone, I got what I wanted under the tree. I didn't, in spite of so many thoughts and prayers for so many, I am very, very sad. Billy D. Williams, her co-star on uh, The Emperor's Drive Back and Return of the Jedi, wrote, um, I'm deeply saddened by the news of Carrie's passing. She was a dear friend who I greatly respected and admired. The force is dark today. San Diego's Comic-Con tweeted, known to us first as Princess Leia in Star Wars, Carrie Fisher was a successful actress, writer, and fierce advocate. She'll be missed. R.I.P. The A.B. Foundation just wrote, All Carrie. Linda Carter, the original Wonder Woman, wrote, Carrie Fisher was one of a kind, funny, kind, adventurous, and irreverent. I send my her family and friends my deepest love and compassion. Will Wheaton wrote, If you only knew Carrie Fisher as part of Star Wars, makes an effort to learn more about her. She was a remarkable woman who did so much. Patton Oswalt wrote, Fuck this year, fuck this whole sick, worthless, cruel prank of a year. Hashtag RIP Carrie Fisher. Actor Malcolm McDonald wrote, Uh... May you find peace in the stars. Carrie Fisher and George Michael, truly rare gems, both in spirit and talent. Hashtag RIP Carrie Fisher. Hashtag RIP George Michael. Anna Kendrick wrote, no, no, fuck this shit. Carrie Fisher is a fucking legend, and this is bullshit. Goldie Hawn tweeted, Carrie Fisher has left us. I am devastated. My condolences and love to the family, my darling, brilliant girl, RIP. Jane Lynch wrote, what a force that at... Carrie Fisher was clever, brilliant, empathetic, and brave, and original, a staggering loss. Hashtag RIP Carrie Fisher. Josh Gad wrote, I'm sitting in stunned silence learning of the death of hashtag Carrie Fisher. In what has been a particularly sad year, this may be the hardest. RIP. Stephen Colbert wrote, It was a joy to share even a moment with her. Kathy Griffin wrote, Carrie Fisher, uh, will everybody stop all of this? Us? No, let's, uh, let us gush. You just have to take it. Gilbert Goffrey wrote, Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Chelsea, Chan, Chelsea Handler wrote, Today feels like a Xanax day. Goodbye. Michael Moore wrote, Beautifully put, words for all to live by. Thank you, Carrie Fisher. Seth McFarlane wrote, Carrie Fisher was smart, funny, talented, surprising, always a hell of a fun time to be around. Family Guy will miss her immensely. 
uh, actor and director John Favreau wrote, such as Sad Day for Her Family, Friends, and Millions of Fans, Carrie Fisher is deeply missed. Richard E. Grant wrote, Carrie Fisher, Cannot Believe That You're Gone, Funny, Funny, and Then Some, XXX. Margaret Cho wrote, We just lost a great ally for mental health and addiction. Be strong, be as strong as she wanted you to be. Rest in paradise at Carrie Fisher. Uh, Finn Wolfhard wrote R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. Bobby Monaghan posted a picture of him and Carrie Fisher and wrote Love You at Carrie Fisher. Kamal Najami wrote R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. Seeing her again on talk shows was such a thrill, so hilarious and fearless when she was being herself. AMC Theaters wrote, May the Force be with the incredibly talented Carrie Fisher. She will be missed. Hashtag RIP. Ringo Starr wrote, Peace and love. Carrie Fisher, peace and love to all the family. Graham Norton wrote, Numb, unbelievable that such a bright, funny, loving spark could be extinguished. At Carrie Fisher, you will be missed. I wish you peace. Roseanne Barr wrote, Hail, hail, a genius has vacated this realm. RIP. Carrie Fisher. Stephen King wrote, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher, and don't forget Richard Adams, fine writer. Stephen Fry wrote, she was the brightest, funniest, bravest, kindest, cleverest, and sweetest person I ever knew. A crushing blow to lose at Carrie Fisher. Josh Devine wrote, so, so sad to hear about the death of Carrie Fisher. 2016 has taught us one hell of a lesson. Don't take anyone for granted. Hurry up, 2017. Cindy Lauper wrote, oh no, we lost Carrie Fisher too. She was so funny and full of life. R.I.P. Condolences to her family and friends. We'll miss her too. Connie Britton wrote, Carrie Fisher, you were a force throughout your life and went away too soon. Damn it. R.I.P. In 2016, you suck. Anna Navarro wrote, May the Force Always Be With You, Princess Leia. Halsley wrote, Carrie Fisher dedicated her platform to mental health awareness and female empowerment. She is a reason to remind us to keep your keep up with your fight. Whoopi Goldberg wrote, Carrie Fisher has passed. She was funnier and smarter than anyone had the right to be. Ceylon Silver Girl, condolences Debbie and Billy. Jane Fonda wrote, My heart is heavy with the news of Carrie Fisher's death. She was a one of a kind and a dear friend. Sarah Paulson wrote, Sweet, brilliant, irreverent, huge hearted Carrie. You gave me advice I live by to this day and always will. On the wings of angels fly. John Leguizamo wrote, Dear hashtag Carrie Fisher, every time an artist is born, the world gains every t- every time we lose an artist, the world loses. R.I.P. Dane Cook wrote, the news of Carrie Fisher passing away is simply terrible. I had my action figures and Star Wars cards out in show of support this week. Lisa Milano posted a picture of her dressed as Princess Leia for Halloween, writing, Thank you, Miss Fisher, for opening up a world of possibilities, strength, and hope for all little girls. Rest. Larry King wrote, we lost a true gem with Carrie Fisher's passing, her humor, talent, brutally honest honesty were gifts to the world. Her voice will be missed. Beth Miller wrote, Carrie Fisher didn't make it. I am so terribly sorry and sending my sincere condolences to her family, friends, and fans all over the world. Joan Collins posted a photo of her and Carrie Fisher writing, working with at Carrie Fisher was on hashtag these old broads. She was always so much fun. Hashtag Carrie. Uh, James Taylor wrote, No words, we love you. At Carrie Fisher, forever our princess. May God bless you as richly as you blessed us. Hashtag Carrie Fisher. Brian Fuller wrote, Always humorous, always eloquent. Carrie Fisher's contribution to pop culture, iconography, and gender politics will not be forgotten. Adrian Grenier wrote, Thank you for bringing a force space for princess to our galaxy and for breaking stereotypes on and off the screen. Uh, Bryce Howard wrote, No damsel in distress, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. A.K. wrote, Carrie Fisher's Postcards from the Edge was the first, first book I ever read about mental health. It is raw and brilliant, funny, and inspiring. James Gunn wrote, Oh man, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher, I thought you were the coolest. Kathy Lee Griffin wrote, Heartbreaking to hear the news about at Carrie Fisher. She was always one of our favorite guests. She adorably had no filter. Bless her. Mitch Pigelli wrote, at Carrie Fisher, you have me at Hug Me Harder. Good night, sweet princess. Anna Dermine wrote, A brave lady on and off screen. May she rest in peace and power. Chris Evans wrote, So, so, so sad. Thank you, Carrie Fisher. What a loss. Courtney Love Cobain wrote, Carrie Fisher, great wit, great friend. One of the brightest lights has gone out. Deep condolences to Billy and Debbie. Grace, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz wrote, Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. You'll never be forgotten. Dennis Leary wrote, a uh, quote from Carrie Fisher, resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. 
uh, rock icon. Brian Wilson wrote, Carrie was such a big part of life here in L.A. The world has lost another great talent and a wonderful person. Love and mercy. As Peggy wrote, a princess, a star, a friend, hashtag Carrie Fisher, with sadness, love, and wonderful memories. Kermit the Frog wrote, hashtag Carrie Fisher, the galaxy loved you, the world loved you, I loved you, missing you already. Zelda Williams, the daughter of the late Robin Williams, wrote, one year ago, almost to the day, goodbye, princess, we'll miss you and all three of your feelings. Jeff Ross wrote, up yours, 2016, long link, hashtag Carrie Fisher. Dara Messing wrote, Carrie Fisher, soar with the angels, so smart and weary and bold and brave and gifted. Rest in peace, Carrie. Neil Gaiman wrote, so sad to hear about the unique Carrie Fisher. Once at the White House, I got to tell her how the story of how she accidentally saved my life. Henry Winkler wrote, goodbye, Carrie. Now all of the heavens will be enriched by your sharp wit and tenderness. Edward James almost wrote, my love to you, hashtag Carrie Fisher. Every time I saw you, it was a love fest. Hugs and smiles and truth came pouring out. I love and adore you. Rita Ora wrote, it's been such an honor working with you on this movie, Wonderwell. It's not going to be the same onset without you, hashtag RIP Carrie Fisher. James Vanderby wrote, Got to interview Carrie Fisher for some mag way back. She was funny, ballsy, eerie perspective, and totally game of voice who'll be missed. Victoria Justice wrote, after George Michael's passing yesterday, can't believe I'm tweeting about Carrie Fisher's untimely death today. She was the beloved princess. Belinda Carlisle wrote, triple whammy at the end of the year. Rick Parafrit, George Michael, and now Carrie Fisher. I'm numb. R.I.P. Carrie. Uh, Peter Seagal wrote, if you have HBO, you can watch Carrie Fisher's one-woman show, Wishful Drinking, whenever you like. Melissa Roch wrote, this is such a heartbreaking loss. Thank you, Carrie Fisher, for your immense talent advocacy. Actress Jessica Chastain wrote, ready for 2016 to be over. Hashtag Carrie Fisher. Christian Slayer wrote, devastated by the world world's loss at Carrie Fisher, a fierce, funny, brilliant actress and activist who's gone too soon. Patricia Arquette wrote, hashtag Carrie Fisher, love and light on your journey. Thank you for your wit and talent. Bonnie Hunt wrote, thank you, Carrie, for everything. Prayers for mom, for Todd, for your sweet Billy. Lacey Chabet wrote, my thoughts are with the families and friends of Carrie Fisher and George Michael. Such heartbreaking news. LeVar Burton wrote, God, please look after at Carrie Fisher. She means a lot to us. And Haley Williams from Paramore tweeted, Carrie Fisher, her story reminds me there is grace in owning your struggles just as powerfully as your strength always needs to be reminded. And now let's take a look at what happened on this date in entertainment history. On this date in 1991, nine killed in a stampede outside a hip-hop celebrity basketball game. It doesn't take an Einstein to know that young people attending a rap concert who have paid as much as $20 a ticket would not be very happy and easy to control if they were unable to gain admission to the event because it was oversold. Those were the words of Judge Louis C. Benza of the New York State Courts of Claims in sorting out the question of civil liability for one of the worst much-related tragedies in recent American history. Judge Benz's 73-page decision issued seven years after nine people died in a crowd stampede on this date in 1991 placed 50% of the blame for those deaths on the venue's owner, the City University of New York, and 50% of the event's promoters rapper Dwight Heavy D. Myers and the then largely unknown hip-hop impresario Sean Puff Daddy Combs. The event in question was billed as the first annual Heavy D. and Puff Daddy celebrity charity basketball game, a fundraising event for AIDS charities. Its draw, however, had little to do with basketball and everything to do with the scheduled participation of major music celebrities from the world of early 1990s hip-hop and R&B. Heavy D., Run DMC, Big Daddy Kane, Ed Lover, Jodeci, Boys to Men, and Michael Bevins of Velvet DeVoe. While Sean Combs will later claim that no more than 2,150 tickets were sold to the event, in the 2,730-capacity Nate Holman uh, Gym, Gymnasium, and City College, that account came under dispute in the event's aftermath. Regardless of how many tickets were sold, however, what is clear is that there was an overflow crowd of at least 3,000 would-be attendees had gathered outside the building 138th Street entrance and that the crowd had grown restless and unruly as the scheduled event uh, at 6 o'clock p.m. start time came and went. Shortly after 6 p.m., According to eyewitnesses' accounts, the crowd outside broke at least one of the glass doors separating them from the building lobby. Despite the presence of at least 66 New York City police officers, 38 city college campus security officers, and 20 private security guards hired by the event's promoters, the crowd 
were able to surge through those doors and rush into the building shortly after 7 p.m. when the event finally got underway. Once inside the lobby, the crowd rushed down a short set of stairs leading to the gymnasium. At the bottom of those stairs, however, were four swinging doors, three of them closed. That opened not into the gymnasium, but into the stairwells. While the 3,000 strong crowd surged forward obliviously, those people who reached the stairwell first were caught in a crush that would leave eight dead on the scene and 29 others injured, one of whom would later die of her injuries at St. Luke's Hospital. And as your entertainment report for Wednesday, December 28th, 2016, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the entertainment report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.